The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate your growling and problem with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 61. NASDAQ is flat. S&Ps are up 5.5. We have the gold contract down uh, four dollars, trading at uh, thirteen thirty-one. Silver flat, seventeen dollars and ninety cents. You get the platinum market off uh, seven bucks at nine eighty-five. Copper down three pennies at three oh three a pound. Light sweet crude up sixteen cents, forty-eight dollars twenty-two cents a barrel. Notes ten-year note down eleven ticks, thirty-year bond off twenty-three. And King Dollar, King Dollar, 42 ticks, trading at 91.895. We'll get the Euro at 119. The Yen is at 109. Uh, we, we missed yesterday, Tom, and the market went to Sherwin-Williams once again. Quite, quite a day for the market. Quite a day. Painted green, baby. That's right. And, and today's the big Apple day. Yeah, we right? came back to a big day for sure. Let's go, go. I'm in Mr. Kevin Hinks from TD Ameritrade. Think or swim. And don't forget, folks, every trading day right here, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. You want to understand the option market upside down? You want to understand the future market upside down? Jump right on your cell phone, tfnn.com. Just hit Tiger TV. Kevin Hinks, what's going on? <laughs> Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, it's good to hear your voice. We're alive and kicking, man. It's good to talk to you, man. <laughs> That's right. I was going to send you guys some floaties through through FedEx, but I wasn't sure if they'd get there in time. Yeah, we we dodged the bullet, you we know. Did. Good for it, you. Yeah, and it, where where I live, actually, Tommy yeah. was me. We got hit pretty good compared yeah. to because on St. Pete when I went down there last night, that was nothing compared to where we were. I mean, I'm sure there's yeah. selective neighborhoods all across the right. state, just right. to be fair. Right. Right. For, there's right. areas in St. Pete. Amazing, yeah. amazing. But I'll tell you, talk about the resilience of, of the Florida and the, and the people in Florida. Amazing. Story. Oh, yeah. yeah. It, it goes amazing. quick. I mean, you should see, you know. I mean, and it did help that there was so much preparation because yeah. right. actually, you know, for what we got hit with, it was almost a little over preparation, but that's great because you still don't have power at home. So right. hopefully that does get repaired even quicker than it would have right. normally. Um, right. And we're back to 100%. Yeah. Good to hear your voice, though. Good so let's to hear your voice, too. You too, it's man. It's all about Apple today. Yeah. yeah. Apple. How about this, Tom? In the last 10 years, Apple has sold 1.2 billion iPhones. Oh, my billion God. Billion with a B. Yeah. Since, <laughs> since they came out in June of 2007, yeah. their market cap for Apple, 104 billion to 760 billion. Not bad, man. That is unbelievable. From 26 I, in the S&P to number one in the S&P, and the, and the Apple shares up 744% in 10 years. That is. That's amazing. And, you know, what is absolutely amazing, we know that, an Apple person's an Apple person, man, and, yeah. and that that's why their margins are so good, right? And what's crazy, too, about that, Kevin, is that they had come a long way before they even did the iPhone, right? Yeah. You know, there's, I mean, if you go... They had, with the, they, the they, music they had the iPod, yeah, right, which really right, revolutionized. Right. So, man, they've just been growing, growing, growing. Right. That's which, if you use Thinkorswim and open up the company profile, you'll see, Tommy, that the iPods are down to 0% of their earnings yeah, now. Yeah, you can see yeah. Who needs an Everything iPod? Everything that was when... on your iPod is now on your phone. Exactly. I know. Right. And you, you know, don't you don't it. even need to buy good cameras anymore. That's right. I had three iPods. I had an iPod Nano. I had right. an iPod regular. Right? And yeah. No, oh. they, right. I had a lot of music on a lot of di different devices. Right. And now it's just all on my phone. For it's sure. Pretty, pretty simple. But I mean, it's amazing. And what we're going to start looking at today, obviously, the Apple story is is front and center. They're going to gobble up all the headlines today. But really, if you look at like Sprint and AT&T and Verizon, yes. they're all up today. Percentages. Why? Because of foot traffic. Yeah. Right? They're going to have foot traffic in their stores for this event. So they're the beneficiaries of the new iPhone. So we're, we're gonna also going to be looking into, you know, anyone can look at Apple today. We did our Apple trade yesterday, actually. Today cool. we're going to look at the, the other, you know, the people selling the iPhones. Yeah, right. 
Right. And then, of course, we get suppliers, right? right. You know, right. so there's that whole chain. It, it, is, it is amazing what they've yeah, done. Just because what happens, I've been waiting, Kevin. So my, my phone, I have a 6. Yeah. It's still a great phone. But what happens right. is the, there's my earphone jack's broken. Okay, so that has problems. My battery is really bad, and batteries are expensive. That's the big and thing, And really, yeah. in this storm, that was something that was kicking me, because if we really suffered, my battery was going to go really quickly. Yeah. Right. Um, which you're just not used to how essential that is, of right. course. But we lost electricity. Um, so I've been waiting, man. I've been waiting, and I'm going to be one of those people trying to oh, see. Oh, I is think, it... I think, write it down, Tom O'Brien. Tommy O'Brien is is wearing a new iPhone. I'm pulling yes. it. We're, I'm waiting for that price I, tag. What's I, the price I, tag, I though? I, I can't suspect, sign up. And... Kevin, I suspect before the TD Ameritrade Think or Swim update by you tomorrow, he probably has it audited. <laughs> I hope so. No. Shiny new iPhone 8. Yeah, we'll see. No, it's the X, right, Kevin? It's going to be the oh, X. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not. The, uh, no, I think... that's. I joke, because we'll see, because the, the 7, right. the ramp up of the 7 is going to be the 8 and the 8S, I believe. This is okay. all speculation, but right. it's great. Right. And then the, the anniversary so, is going to be the, ten, the X. I guess it's 1 o'clock our time? Yeah, 1 Eastern. 12 your time. Yep, 12 o'clock Chicago time, yep, right. And 10 Pacific, you know, in their home, uh, their hometown that they're kicking it off. You got always, you. always fun. Remember when Steve Jobs you say, "Oh, and one more thing, one more thing." Remember right. one yes. more thing. I was looking at clips of him when he announced the iPhone. He was a good marketer, ago. man. Pretty, that was one of the things he did well. Yeah. Talk about life shatter, life changing events. That's for sure. I yeah. know, man. And you Just, see, so the you know the the watch is supposed to have um, LTE coverage, where the watch can be without the phone. That'll be a big deal. Yeah, That's, that would you know, be a big with, deal. If, if it wasn't for the new iPhone coming out, that would be what everyone's talking about. Right. Is that you can have a a watch that replaces your phone with right. cell coverage because the watch hasn't got big traction yet. Well, it's Which because it, you, it need will to have, you need yeah. to have a watch with a phone. I don't want right. both, okay? Right. But if I can wear a watch and I don't have to carry my phone, that's a different Huge. world. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the the word, you know, I'm looking for what are they really going to change, though, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, unfortunately or fortunately, the 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 watches are just drifting towards you know athletic and 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 keeping up your you know endurance and you know like timing yourselves. Sure. Yeah. Heart rate, watches. all that stuff. Yeah. When, when are they going to come out with the next? What? Where is the I? Where is the watch going in the future? Yeah, I know. See, what's the next step? Because the and moment that that watch fully replaces the phone, that's what everyone's going to want. Right. right. You know, when yeah. you're talking into that phone. Exactly. Like when it's got a hologram that shows you everything, right? I mean, we've all right. seen the futuristic shows where it's coming, man. Right. It's pretty. It's pretty cool how quick the technology is actually gone. Yeah, we were talking about that for right. some reason this weekend. I forget right. why, but just saying, right. man, it's coming quicker than you realize. Every, yeah. Everything's just Everything. coming quicker than you realize. Yeah. Right. And I, but I'll tell you what, I'll... I'll, one point that one part that's disappointed me through all this is the batteries. Yeah, you yeah. don't have the batteries where it can be days char on a charge. Right. Oh, that's what I'm waiting for. Let, let me tell you something, Kevin. At our house, there was going to be World War Three. We have a generator, thank God, right? But I'm right. telling you something. If I didn't have a generator, and people couldn't get their batteries charged, right? I, I would have been in trouble. We all would have been in trouble. <laughs> yeah, Mutiny. I mean, big time. Mutiny in the O'Brien house. Yeah, exactly. Right. I mean, yeah. But <laughs> generators, generators, they, they, you don't use them often, but when you use them, it's important. Oh, my God. It's, it's gold. It's like, I'm a big fan of generators. Yeah. <laughs> we had it going all last night. It ran out of gas at 3 in the morning. I put more gas in. Thank you. Ta Perfect. Ta we had gas bottles, a lot of them, but I used yeah, yours last night. Come prepared, right? Oh, totally. I know. Totally. Gas as well. Electricity, and, gas. And you're talking about prepared, folks? Get on. Think or swim. Right 11 here. to 12 Eastern Standard Time. You want to be prepared for the uh, Apple event? You want to be prepared for options, futures? TD Ameritrade. Kevin, have a great one. Have a safe one. We look forward to the show in 45 minutes. Good to hear your voice, guys. You Thanks, too, man. Kevin. Stay Gary right there. Pesimento Tommy has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up to the 
up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, 6 videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 36. You get the NASDAQ up three. S&Ps are up three and a half. And uh, yeah, so where we, where I live, we Which get- Which is not far from our office, 10, right, 15, 10 minutes right. from here. Um, area. You know, the neighborhood-wise, there's a, there's a lot of trees down, but no real destruction to homes, thank God. Thank Do you know you, what yeah, I mean? Totally. Um, and we, like my did front lawn. Did you see that tree down the street from you? I sent a yeah. picture to you. That's there was why, one big oak. That's why electricity is still down. Yeah, right. There's one big one that went across the street. Yeah. We had one big branch that just fell perfectly in my front yard. Totally, man. I perfectly, no doubt. Totally. Missed the houses, missed the cars, yeah. everything. And, um, you know, so... So you're still without electric. Fortunately, yeah, downtown right. Clearwater, where our building is, has Had, electric. Right. We they, have they reopened this morning, eight o'clock, okay. which is great. Um, Steve Rhodes, that poor guy. He, so yeah, he, they got hit kind of hard over ways. there. I know the so, forecast of racing what, over here, yeah. right, and racing back over there, and right. then they still got hit with a decent amount. And on it's that good side. he did though, because right. what happened with Steve, folks, is that first it was supposed to be a direct hit where he was in Palm sure. Beach. Yeah. He raced to Naples. Okay. And then. The, the storm raced to Naples, and so thank God he raced from Naples back to Palm Beach. Okay, yeah. And he got hit, though, that way. Yeah. So, so he, I don't expect Steve will probably be doing his show today unless something, you know, really just gets rocking and yeah. rolling in the next few hours. But even for his newsletter, it's tough, right? And so he's going to try and get it out as soon as possible. Yeah. We'll put a note out to his subscribers. Um, but it's tough where, you know, you can't just go find Internet in those places either, where, you know, he doesn't have it, but you can't just roll down to your Starbucks and use Internet right. either. Um, now, after today, I'm assuming that, right. like we talked about, they had so many trucks ready for the electric, so much preparedness that I think having a full day, because yesterday everyone was just waking up, 
coming out of the storm, right? Oh, yeah, right. Whereas today, the trucks were assembled at sunrise. You know, I think yeah. even they People had People working early. They had pictures um, at Derby Lane. The, that's where they actually, was that was their full? jumping off point. Cool. And it was all electric trucks, the right. whole thing that right. they had ready to, like, hit right. the road and go where they need to go. That was their kind of planning meeting in the morning and okay. then hit the road running. So that should be good. Dave White, he's still struggling um, with electric as well. He's here. I believe. Yes, so yeah. he's struggling with electric, yeah. And he is here, though, so he just put out his newsletter, um, and we'll see. He may be dealing with stuff, but hopefully he'll get his program, whether he's doing it here or we'll see. We're still kind of right. picking right. things up, but either way, we're live, right? We're going to have swim lessons. Basil Chapman will be live, thankfully, the office. Right. One or two glitches we're still working our way right. through, but all in all, right, My no, God. amazing, right, yeah. amazing. Now, it is a great question in the den. Do you think a drop in flower real estate... Uh, Due to this, and do you it, expect a drop in the flow? Yeah, real estate and due to this? well, this yeah. is where it gets interesting. So, you know, we'll, I'm watching it like a hawk because it's going to be interesting. So, it's like the the more south you go, they really got hit. Like they were talking about the boats. The, just for, categorize south. Do you mean like south, like ten miles of us, or like Miami? Just to where you're. No, I'm talking about in the West Coast, Naples, okay. and all okay. those okay. places. Okay? okay, waterfront there, I, I, yeah. I suspect would drop dramatically. I mean, okay. and that is kind of where it came on, too, it did. right? It so did. that's, you it know, did. the, the place now, that got hit the worst. Right yeah. where we are, I think Waterfront's going to drop, too, because everyone realized that what happened is that um, if you were watching the news, the, the, the water got sucked out. And supposedly what was going to supposed to happen is that it's going to go back in. Well, it never came back in because the storm just turned out. It got up, weakened, it, too. It, that little knot. Yeah, right? and it got weakened. Right. It, you know, it just wasn't as strong right. to kind of have the winds to bring that surge back in. Right. And so... We all saw the picture, not we all maybe, but I was just, that picture you're talking about was on Bayshore Boulevard that kind of was a nationwide right. thing because it was so eerie right. that like a tsunami it, it looked like a back tsunami in it. I know. pulled it out. Right. Now, I took a bike ride on Bayshore last night and it looked beautiful. Thankfully, there was no surge at all. I was expecting right. maybe that sidewalk. It's not much higher than it wouldn't have taken no. a huge and surge. A, and a regular storm. You know, you have water down in Bayshore. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Right. No, yeah. It, it could be. It's a close, um, right. So... But what, I was what happened? Yeah, go okay. ahead. No, no, what, just, what, yeah. what happens there? I think it took us so long to get prepared that I think the water, the waterfront, will get out a little. It was a now, wake up to everybody. That's Evacuation right. Evacuation zones, right? Flooding, storm and, surges, exactly. Flood insurance, yeah. I, and then on top of that, now to go to the question about all of Florida real estate, yeah, I think we get a thousand people that come into Florida a day. I think that there'll be less people that come into Florida, you know, for the next few months. Ah, uh, yeah, you know? yeah. No, yeah. no, no. The short. Yeah. I mean, they were talking about that in terms of so much of our economy is driven by tourism. Right. And even a small hiccup of a week or two when everything is driven by tourism right. and that completely stops when you have a hurricane rolling in can have an effect on And well, you know, and today, let me see, uh, Universal. So uh, it didn't stop. Uh, Are they back open? Halloween Horror. Halloween okay. Horror Halloween stops. Horror Nights, okay. And that's one of their biggest deals sure, sure. of the year. Uh, Universal, yeah. is that it? I think. I don't know what to do. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out who Universal owns Universal. Studios. Is that a Disney property or one of them? No. I don't know what. Who owns it? Universal. Does Comcast own them? I don't know. All right, we'll have to figure no. it out there. Yeah. The anyway, so... Yeah, so, I mean, so I'm in South Tampa, and people should be aware of it. You know, if you want to buy a coastal property in Florida, right. you know, number one, make sure you have the insurance. Right. And number two, be aware that, you know, you're running a risk of it now. If you yeah. have insurance and if you have flood insurance, right. you'll be okay, but you're going to have to suffer that, you know, life, right. life kind of interruption. Right. Um, now, when I bought a place in South Tampa, I purposely didn't want to buy in a flood zone because right. I just didn't want to deal with that, right. you know? But I think we found out that a lot of people kind of didn't factor it in as much as you thought because there was, like, so much hysteria, you know? And yes. it's like, if you're in a flood zone, too, versus the coast, we saw there was mandatory evacuation in the second zone in yep. Pinellas. Right. That's, like, up to a 14-foot flood That's, surge. And you, you're not required to have flood insurance in the second zone. Right. It's only the first zone. Right. So there were a lot of people that were mandatory evacuated that, because their houses been. were going to flood, yeah. and they had no insurance, most right. of them. Right. So that's a real wake-up for the flood. You know, anybody out there, you should find out where you're on the flood zones. Find out, you right. know, the probabilities because... I'm in a zone B, and I'm going to think about it, let right. me tell you. And it, right. if I got flooded, the entire Tampa Bay area would be flooded because oh, no I'm doubt. at about 15 feet. Right. And 15 feet in Tampa Bay covers, like, the entire city. But guess what? I'm going to think about it. 
you know? Right. And so if right. I'm going to think about it, anybody should think about it if you're in Florida, you're near the coast, you're in any evacuation zone, you know, just at least consider it oh, and no. see how much it costs because going through this, you know, guess what? Harvey just came through. Irma came yeah. through. Jose's in the Gulf. You know, if you're going to own your house for 30 years, right. do the math, okay? We just got three storms in like three weeks. 30 years, yep. there's a decent chance that at some point, unfortunately, hopefully not, but flood insurance might be so cheap. That's what people fail to realize. If you're in a zone like five, that's like a never going to happen, flood insurance is so cheap, it might yep. be worth it, okay? Yeah. So just... And there's, there's a question there, do you guys have to get flood level survey in Florida? Yeah, you do. What happens is that the, when you're in the flood zone, when you're closing on a house, what would end up happening is that that would be... They're look, every, they're well, always, they the know first, if you're in a zone A. Exactly. And, if you're in a zone and then they're looking for the survey. They, right, they, they right. want to know that survey. That's, that's, know, that's yeah. where, well, you know, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. There's, there's no doubt about that. Yes. So. We'll see where it shakes out in the next uh, six. Hope. What were you going to say? Six weeks or right. something. Right. Hopefully this season just stands yeah. out well. Right. right. For right. sure. Because, because I can tell you, it's still beautiful here. It's, it's amazing that, I mean, stuff come off the trees, but not like I've seen no, before. we were really lucky. Yeah, there was right. not much I mean, damage at all. Yeah. At all. Yeah. Okay. 877-927-6648. Yep. Let's see. Uh, Apple's down 68 cents. Better stop buying those iPhones. Uh, <laughs> buck 60, 83. Let's see what the price tag is going to be. I can't make That's my That's a big number, huh? Game, right? Yeah, right. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow right now is up 43. NASDAQ is up 3. S&Ps are up 4.5. If you're looking to open your portfolio to a world of opportunity, consider the new market safe emerging currency CD from Everbank. This three year US dollar denominated CD gives you exposure to five equally weighted currencies from Brazil, China, India, Indonesia, and Turkey at a time when experts see great potential for global growth. Even better, it features a 7.0 leverage factor, which means you could earn a potential market upside payment of seven times the CD's performance at maturity with no cap if the currencies increase in value over the CD's term. And should the opposite occur, your principal is 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There is no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. Don't miss out. The September 28th funding deadline will be here before you know it. So call 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a division of TIAA, FSB, member FDIC. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. 
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 41. You get the NASDAQ up four, S&P's uh, up uh, three and a half. And let's go over to the uh, uh, star of the day out here. Okay. See what it's doing. So Apple. Ah, open higher, trade lower. Yeah. <laughs> so it's going to be intriguing, man. Watch okay, it's the, almost this $2 off the, the open there. It's yeah. not a small number, you know. No, not when uh, you're right at the highs, right? right. It's like, okay. So... This Quite is an gonna, opening bar, even as it, it is. Just, this is going to get fast and furious out yeah. here this morning. Uh, let's go inside the Dow Industrials and see the strength versus the weakness. Um, so putting positive points into it. Goldman's out there putting 32 positive Coming points. Up almost five bucks, man. Yeah. And what's this one? I've never seen. Oh, oh, Dow Dupont. No wonder I haven't seen it. This is the new uh, Dupont. Yeah, it must name. be. They must have just merged. Okay. <laughs> you know. Yeah. That's, there you go. Yeah. Right. Dow DuPont. Oh, okay, yeah. you're going right into the news. I see, yeah. Yeah, and just uh, look at this. So that's pretty wild. It's a four. Oh, hold it. That's in the UK. How did I get that? That is so funny. One second. Hold what it. did you say it's in the UK? Well, it's UN. Hold it. I don't get it. DWDP. No, that's not. That is, that is weird. Let me just see this again. I'm in the US. You're there. Yeah, something's wrong. <laughs> They're all saying you win. Anyway, um, Home Depot's put nine positive points. Cat, uh, Caterpillar five. Taken away from it, uh, McDonald's, Big Mac. What's going on there? Yeah, look at that. I'll tell you one of the craziest things Bridget and I saw yesterday is that when we were going down to St. Pete to check on the rest of the properties, right? The largest line I ever seen at a, a Burger King it was like about a mile long. Yeah, no, I passed one on the way home. Did you? There were very few places yeah. serving warm food yesterday. So, yeah. um, but that's what they're talking about. That, yeah, they're so talking about you know storms, the two storms, two it's, storms, you know, hurt Texas the and Florida. Yeah. Yeah. So, looking at that line yesterday, it's like I think one Burger King can make up for a lot of this. I know we <laughs> you know? can, but no, for the exactly. amount they do on a daily basis, yeah. you can't make that up. Huge. I mean, it's amazing when you pass by those stores every morning, they actually have lines for their breakfast and stuff like yeah, that, right. which is pretty surreal. Right. Yeah. Bonds. Let's go into the bond market. So the bond market, folks, okay, this, you know, when we left you uh, last week, bottom line is that uh, you had the 10-year uh, just approaching the flat out two point mark. Yeah. We're now at 2.162. So 2.039 was the low of last week. Um, my take, these things aren't done. You know, it was, you, you, you got a retracement happening. Uh, the volume's contracting. Thanks. TYZ7. You got the volume contracting pretty good. We're at 644,000 today, so we'll, we'll do a good 1.4 something million, but you're coming into 1.56 million, you're coming into 1.9, you know, and I think, you know, we could get to, yeah, 126.17. Well, actually, we hit to 126.20. I mean, it can get down to these levels somewhat, but you go with light volume, man, this thing's gonna go topside once again. September 30th, before we know it, right? That's right, man. Boston, Massachusetts, folks, come visit us. Time flies when you're busy. We've been busy. Everybody's been busy, yep. right? But man, time is gonna fly. It is September 12th today. In 18 days, we're gonna be up there rocking and rolling September 30th. If you're in the Boston area, come on over, sign up. It's Saturday morning, 7.45 till about one o'clock, so you'll still have your day. And uh, we'll be up there at the Burlington Boston Marriott in Burlington, and, and, and Massachusetts. Yeah. Boston Marriott in Burlington, Massachusetts. All the information right here on the page. There's their address, their phone number if you're coming from out of town. Um, kick things off with a continental breakfast, 7.45 in the morning. Mr. Dan Cook's gonna jump up there for 15 minutes. I'm gonna jump up there for about 15 minutes. You're gonna jump up there for 90 minutes, hour and a half, talking about 
Why don't you go for it? Give them a glimpse of what you're going to be speaking about. We're going to talk about quality volume, cause and effect, the ABC structures, swing points, and testing. And right now, it's all about those swing points and testing, folks, because we, right? we just keep going up to the highs, testing, testing, testing. What's intriguing right here is that, you know, the S&P broke topside yesterday. The Dow is trying to. The Nasdaq is trying to. And to me, this Apple deal today is going to be a big deal because, see, if we just go back to the... Sure. just uh, minimize that if you want to. Well, if we just go back to this for a second, which, which you're going to look at. So if we take a look at the NDX, you know, I mean, it's just laying that, man. Yeah. So your first high was 5995.770. We got over that today. We're under it now. Your next high was 6009. Now, we didn't make that one, you know. To me, the benchmark is the, the, the 27th anyway, because that's, sure. that's what we sold down pretty quick from. Sure. Hey, we'll see. You we know, will see. Apple can make this thing happen. Oh, man. You know, and if Apple doesn't make this thing happen, I, mean, you know, I was just going to say, you never know. There could be stuff that hasn't leaked out with Apple yet that they might be able to wow you. I don't expect that, but oh, guess I think, what? I think that's on the table, right. It, yeah. It's possible. You, know you I mean? better make right. sure. It, and mean, it would have to do with the watch, I think, right? It's something else. It right. wouldn't be the phone. Right. I think... Right. There's been enough hysteria about the phone right. that every possible rumor has been leaked out about that. Right. Um, but yeah, it could be something about maybe the phone's more, um, excuse me, maybe the watch is more functional than you think. Right. Um, and it really is something, you know, especially, I say especially guys, I'm biased, right? But we don't have anything to put our phones in. You know, you, you got your pocket. At least right. girls mostly, they maybe have a pocketbook, maybe you have a purse, whatever it is, it seems easier from a guy, I know. Yeah. But um, if you don't have to carry your phone, Man, that would be oh, I know. Uh, leaps and bounds. And so, like Kevin Hinks was saying, you know, when can you really use the watch like a phone, right? Well, right. we'll see what they have. Right. We'll see, maybe, yeah. No doubt. Let's go over to the uh, the dollar. So, uh, since the dollar out here, that's been on a one-way trip. Uh, it finished off its ABC structure last week. Hit the 90.795. Uh, um, you know, it came off that number. Uh, the real question is going to be like, how far is this bounce going to go? So we'll see. Um, there's no reason. This is the December contract we're on now. No reason you can't get to at least 92,640. Seems like a long way away from where we are, but it actually has to get back inside 92,230 to even get up to that 93 area. But I expect that that's somehow that thing wants to bounce this time. We'll, okay. we'll, we'll find out. Yeah. Um, gold, the uh, gold did exactly what it should have done. You know, the real question is going to be now um, that 1377 that's hanging out there. That's good. That, see, that pulled back with light volume yesterday, too. So yeah. it got hit yesterday for sure, but 300,000 contracts. Yeah. You're going into 460,000 contracts as well. Yeah. Both days were 460? Yeah. 460? Yep. Nice. 29th and 30th oh, that's of big. August, yeah. That's nice. Okay, that's that's powerful, man. I mean, yeah. and that's saying the gold can get down to, like, 1317, too. And that's not the end of the world. It already rejected 1326 this morning. I think we might have a caller. Who do we have on the line? Let's go to Tom in Tampa. Hey, Tom, what's going on? Hey, good morning, Tom and Tommy. How are you guys doing down there? Oh, we're doing great, man. How are you? <laughs> hey. uh, pretty good. You stay right there. We got Tom from Plymouth. That's yeah. who you got. We'll get him on. <laughs> we're going to be coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 51. NASDAQ's up three. S&Ps are up four and a half. We're going to be right back. Does the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com.
or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien has just announced that he'll be coming to Boston September 30th for a free workshop, The Art of Timing the Trade. Join Tom O'Brien Saturday morning, September 30th at the Boston Marriott in Burlington, Massachusetts as he breaks down his trading methodology and provides you with the tools to become a more successful and profitable trader. Everyone that attends in person will receive a free signed copy of Tom's best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. Daryl Martin from Apex Investing Institute will also be presenting for 90 minutes at this free event. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. Join me in Boston on September 30th as I return to my hometown for a workshop about the art of timing the trade. I look forward to seeing all the tigers and tigresses for this special free event. All action starts early at 7.30 a.m. with a continental breakfast and wraps up at about 1 p.m. Topics that Tom will be covering during his presentation include quality volume, cause and effect, ABC structures, swing points, and much, much more. For all the information on this free Boston event taking place Saturday, September 30th, visit the front page of TFNN.com. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits and the Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day go to tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv that's tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv for the latest market information <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now up 39, the Nasdaq's up 3, S&Ps are up 4. We're talking with uh, Tom from Plymouth. We're going to be talking about the TVI. Oh, volatility to start things off. Yep. So uh, you get the TVIX, which is the velocity shares, two times VIX short-term ETN. Uh, got all the way down to 1487 today, so you must be in shock because I know you <laughs> love buying the, the 16s, right? <laughs> Yeah, I sure am. I'm I'm on it. So, I uh, just wonder what you guys think about this. But uh, good to hear your voices anyway. And that's good uh, to hear yours, good, man. Yeah, totally. There it's was good some to be pictures back. down there that weren't too. Uh, they didn't. They didn't look too good. So. Yeah. There's, anyway. there's select areas, I bet, everywhere, and that's right. what's really yeah. in, not interesting. It might not be the right word, but you know where. Yeah, I mean, I was really surprised to see that one enormous oak in your neighborhood. Right. I mean, right. the size of this tree for everyone out there, it's just imagine the biggest oak you can find and yeah. literally just and we have some big ripped oak trees. out by the roots everywhere. Right. So I think with those like gusts, gusts, that's yeah. what there's gusts yeah. that you just get one good gust, man. We're in your backyard, right? Early, five o'clock in the afternoon. So yeah. the worst of it came to us at about two in the morning. Five o'clock in the afternoon, the first gust that came through right. took down a tree that right. bigger than you'd want to be in front of. I'm talking right. about 10, 15 feet. Yeah. Um, so. But like we we're saying, they got the crews out today. Everyone was cleaning their yard totally. yesterday, right? So we'll be back. And you're into the VIX, so all all good in the world, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Funny listen, this is this, today, is, so this all, it is all good. I I think you you got something here again. There's no doubt. What 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 also happens is this: when you get a day like yesterday, meaning you get a big up day. Well, actually, percentage wise, I'm not sure what it was. Oh, it was decent. And, that yeah. was up like two sixty. Okay, or something. right. So over you know, a percent. Yeah. For the so Dow, when you get something like that, the next day is pretty cool. Particularly that you got Apple um, not catching a bid right now. You know, I mean, yeah, your, your worry is going to be. At one o'clock Eastern Standard Time, when Apple comes out, man, do you know what I mean? As to what it is, because I, I think that's gonna, you know, it's either gonna send Apple up two or three points or send it down. If it sends it down, the whole market will go down with it, man. 
You know, because now does the does the S and P have to close today? Uh, you know, with less volume than yesterday, or is that? Anything, it wasn't that much volume on the S&P. Well, yesterday. it wasn't bad. You know, yesterday had the SPY doing 71 million. What you'd like to see uh, for the TVIX to go higher, yes, you want lighter than 71 million and you want to close under 249.30. Right now we're 249.59. You'd want both. Yeah, that's okay. What you, that's what you want right. to see. And if, if worse comes to worse, we buy some more maybe. We'll see what, what happens. <laughs> Can you jump to the regular VIX just <laughs> yeah. to see what it's at? I'm just curious where, because... I'm sure it was tanking all day yesterday with that kind of. Yeah, okay, see, 1065. It reached yeah. a low of 1029. Right. I mean, this, geez, anytime it's in single digits. Yeah, I think you got a good trade here, yeah. man. Because when we bring up the VIX too, the VIX already rejected 1029 this morning, man. Yeah. And yeah, right, right. And that set up kind of oh. nice. That the last low. It's surprising that it couldn't get under the last low from uh, the the first. It really doesn't stay in single digits that long. No, it doesn't. But. We'll see. It doesn't. That doesn't mean that it can't. No, that's right. Yeah. It, it doesn't. You know, but you know, I think you're, I think you're pretty close here, man. You know, I think we'll it's going to. Sit here and wait on it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And because you know what's okay, happening too. Yeah. So this not that this this will affect the uh, the S and P slightly, not not real heavy, but the IBB is having a hard time catching a bit. You know, it's it's sideways out here, but when you actually look at a few of these. Inside the NDX, they're the ones that, uh, you know, INCY, I believe that's a biotech. One sec, let me make sure. There yeah, that's a biotech. That's the leader today. On the way down. On yeah. the way down. I had Regeneron in here earlier, but I guess it's not in there okay. now. Let me just, R-E-G-N. Well, yesterday I grabbed a little of that LABD, too. I saw that, and I was like, ah, this is at $5, hey. Yep, and the and the LABD folks is the uh, direction 300% LABD uh, inverse correlation of the S&P biotech uh, index. Yeah. So yeah, I think you get some action there, man. I mean, I, we know how the biotechs go, man. I mean, they fast and furious. That's, that's, that I like that trade, Tom. Yeah, interesting. He likes your LABD. Yeah, because you've already yeah. got you broke the consolidation. And then you tested the break. One of these days, that's going to move up pretty quickly. You know, it's going to move up, you know, 70, 80 cents, you maybe. You sound like me. Or... <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I don't even mind 30 or 40 cents, but I, I like it. I like it when it goes, you know, anyway. Listen, you you're, you're talking clear, to man. the right people, man. We got it. Let me tell you, man, it's a beautiful thing. It's, it is. It's, you know, it's... What happens, folks, what, what Tom's doing here, right, it, when you're trading just highs and lows, man, I mean, if you have some discipline, it's pretty cool. I mean, people say, well, you can't do it. Well, you can do it. You just have to know that you, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, get out, get out, get out. Sure. When you're right, oh, you're right. Sure. It's like, okay. And then, you know, depends on how you feel waking up because you need energy. There's totally. no doubt about that. But guess what? You get the energy, go in and out, and then call it a day. All right, guys. Well, you be safe down there. Don't be working too hard the next couple of weeks. We don't want you all tired out when you get up here. Oh, uh, no. Plan, we're, 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 you we're kidding right. me? We're psyched now. You say, when something like this comes on, you just get better. You it was just, a week-long deal. Yeah, you get more psyched. And so you come out of it, you know, right. especially how we came out of it. We're very fortunate, right. very lucky. You know, yeah. you're excited. You're we charged felt, up. Yeah. Right. I mean, we were, Can't I was, in, I was anticipating, way. like, it could have been heavy, man. It could have been. You know, we're... So. We're protected and have a good foundation, but guess what? If it's a couple million bucks, it's like, okay, man. You know, yeah, it's just now anxiety we're and all that yeah. stuff, right? right. Yeah. Cooking, brother. See you guys. Have Thanks, a Tom. great one, man. Have a safe one. The uh, Let's go look at Goldman. So Goldman, let's Rocking see. and rolling. Yeah. Good day to be in the banks. Yeah, and Rates see, that's, that's, up, still, right? that's, still, that's still good. It's still kind of trend, man. I mean, you can see, it's, you know, those last two days, rates are going up, man. Last two days for Goldman, good days. Yeah. Right? And it's going to have another problem at that 229. Okay. We're 225. 229 is the killer. 230. Oh, hey, check this out. This is, you got to, I didn't read the whole, whole uh, um, EFX. Let me see. Uh, the uh, whole article yet, folks, because I was just hustling to get out of the house this morning. Okay. But Equifax, <laughs> do you know what they were doing? The, the, now, this was prior to them getting the... Um, Announcing? You right. know, they... Um, slow, slow down. Prior to they, them what? 
was it June 29th? They had Prior the breach. they found out. Yeah. Okay. Well, the two months before that, they spent yeah. 500 grand on soft money to all the congressmen, right? Trying to change the law. Okay. That they wouldn't have as much liability. Okay. Isn't that wild? Yeah. I can't wait, wait, wait to read the whole thing. Yeah. To find out, like, oh, really? You know, so it's like, did they really know that they they were vulnerable, number one? No matter and, what, you're vulnerable. So, like, you yeah. know, the, the whole system should almost be questioned where, you know, you, they always talk about it. You assemble everything in one place, it's inevitably going to get hacked because all you're doing is assembling and telling the hackers where they have to go to get it all. Right. You know, and that system right. alone. And you kind of saw some of that when President Trump was talking for the rotor records all in one thing. And that's what people, some of the pushback was saying, this is not a good idea because you're assembling all this information in one place. And, and what kind of records? For the voter records. Oh, okay, okay. When they, they were right. saying every state to send us your voter records. Okay. Part of the pushback was saying, this is not a good idea to have one file that contains every single person's data because right. inevitably you're creating a reward for those hackers that inevitably they'll get right. to because it wow. happens. We know it does. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We're going to be up with Lou from Nashua, New Hampshire. We're going to be right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m. Followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade. Think or Swim. Next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Let's go to uh, Lou in Nashua. Hey, Lou, what's going on? Hey, Tom. How you glad doing, you man? Made, glad you made it. Thank made you. It yeah, we're happy, too. <laughs> so, you want to look at the nugget, right? Yeah, I got stopped out, so I was just wondering what, what a good entry would be. 
Yeah, I wouldn't be jumping into this just yet. So the nugget, folks, is the daily direction, 300% bull position of the New York ACA Gold Miners Index. I'm looking for a little more of a retracement. I know this is rejected lower price this morning. Um, you know, so yeah, maybe on a day trade, but I'm actually looking that this correction, I mean, it, to me, it just kind of started, you know what I mean? So gold yeah. is at 1331. I mean, this thing can get down to 1310, 1307 without doing any yeah. damage. And if that does it, actually, let's go to the GDX. So the GDX, you know, they're at 2456. That can get into 2386 again. Where, what, you know, you, you go topside, you broke out of the consolidation. Going back to the top of the consolidation is normally what you can do. He's looking easy. at like the June 6th, kind of the high around that area. Yeah, though. yeah right. So just let it be. I, that's what yeah. I would do. Because I think this dollar is going to bounce a little bit more, man. And yeah. Because, you know, if it doesn't, then they, yeah, I guess we want well, to take off again. I, I like the setup because I particularly like the setup how bonds are coming back with light volume. The dollar's going up with light volume. The gold contract's coming back with light volume. That's saying that gold's not done going up, bonds aren't done going up, and the dollar's not done going down. But you need to just let it be for a bit. Cooking, yeah, brother. Okay, you. man. Stay right there, right. folks. we get got swim lessons coming up next for you. And then uh, we're going to... Uh, Basil Chapman will be in there. Basil Steve Steph, might be, right. we'll see. But then Dave White Dave's, will be doing it. Dave's right here. I'll be back. And Andy Heck. Andy Heck. There Thanks, pal. Love you. Stay right there, folks. Dow right now is up 46. NASDAQ is flat. S&Ps are up 3. 1 o'clock. Apple. Apple. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien has just announced...